evening all, the Clio is due a full service. I've just done the fuel filter on it, made a video about that. Now it's time for the air filter. The Clio is a 2003 1.5 DCI, it's a 65 horsepower model. So firstly, I'm gonna to need to remove the air intake hose, which is just here. I use a screwdriver because mine's a bit of a awkward to get out. Now the air filter itself, of course, is located within this housing. So the next things I need to remove, uh, or at least gain access to, are the screws across here. So you will need a, an appropriately sized Torx bit, I'll find that in a moment. And just for some access, I'm gonna remove this wire here so I can get a bit better access to that one there. Okay, I just found out the size and it is a T30, or at least on this car. Because of the access, you may actually find it's easier to use a socket with a bit instead of a screwdriver, or a bit driver, I should say. Because otherwise the screwdriver might hit the bulk head just there. Now we've got access uh, to the filter, hopefully. I need to just remove it off these rubber feet and then just bend it upwards like that, open it up and then pull it out. Mm, do you think that needed to be changed? I think I maybe needed to change that. I can't remember your next question is, how long has it been? How many miles? I don't remember, probably too many, probably more than the, what is it, about 20 or 30,000 normally, I think, for an air filter typically. So I think this one's been longer than that. Oops. Here's a new filter, looks a lot better. Just make sure that the new filter, the uh, uh, orange gasket part fits properly in the groove here. You can, of course, just remove this uh, assembly. You need to just remove um, a couple of electronic clips and a Jubilee clip back there to allow this to move enough so you can unhinge it from the bottom. I just usually don't choose to do that. It's easy enough just to fit it in like this. It saves removing more parts, but you can if you want to remove it. Remember to clip in any wiring that you've uh, removed, like I did there with that one. Put the intake pipe back in, and you're done. That was easy, wasn't it? Thanks for watching.